Hey guys, how you doing everybody out there in the YouTube world? Well, I'm here to show you a new video that I'm making. Now, I'll tell you how everything worked out and how this video came about. Me and my wife, we're in the gym. That's why I'm wearing my hoodie sweater still and stuff. We were working out in our treadmill, just running there, you know. She's next to me. And I'm telling her, I said, honey, you know, we over here paying $80 a month for this gym. Why don't we get a treadmill ourselves? You know, we have a house, we have a two-car garage. We don't use the garage, really. Why don't we take half the garage and make a little gym? You know, put the treadmill, like that we go whenever we want. We, you know, because we have a, a seven-year-old and the gym we go to has a, a little daycare. So we leave our baby in the, our daughter in the, in the daycare. Now what's happening is, you know, for doing that, you pay an extra fee. So I'm telling my wife, we could do that in our house. We'd be comfortable. We don't have to be running around, going to the gym, you know, driving out there. She's like, I don't know, I don't know, maybe. You know how women are. So I'm like, you know what? Whatever, fine. We'll, we'll see, we'll do it one day. When we came at the gym, she says, you know what? Let's take a drive to Sears and check it out. So we went to Sears. So I got the treadmill. We bought a treadmill in Sears. Um, the name, I forgot where it is, but tomorrow I should have the treadmill in here and I'm gonna have everything set up and I'm gonna show her the whole video, you know, with everything set up. Right now, I'm just starting the video off to tell you guys what I'm doing. I'll show you the basic of what I have. Now, don't judge my garage. I know it's messy. It's not finished. You know, I'm, I'm gonna do the thing right now. The weightlift machine that I bought, I'll show you guys right here on my iPad, is called the Wee Weir Weaver. Hold on, hold on, let me get the name. It is called the Weeder. Now, if I'm pronouncing this wrong, I am sorry. But it's called the Weeder Weight System Pro 6900. I bought it in Sears for um, $2.99. I'll show it to you guys right here. Hopefully you can see it. There you go, that's the one I just bought also. See? Is it Weeder? I don't know. Weight System Pro. Now, if I pronounced it wrong the name, I'm sorry. So we bought that one, plus we bought the treadmill also. Now, the treadmill, I will show you guys tomorrow which one is it. And um, I'll show you now the box for the Weeder. Weeder, all right? I'll show you guys the box right now for you to see. All right, come with me real quick. Well, this was gonna be, let me show you this first. I bought these mats, right? We bought these little things to do push-ups. The strap here, do pull-ups and stuff. My wife wanted the ball, I got her the ball. Um, these mats right here, they come in, in a pack of six. It's just like, you know, little mats that come off. That's all it is. And it comes in a pack of six in Sears for 20 bucks. So I bought two packs of this, plus I bought a, a mat. Now these two boxes I have there, just to keep the mat flat right now, because it was all curled up. And these boxes actually are part of the weeder weight system. These are the weights. They're really freaking heavy. These are the weights right here, and this is the mat. This is where the treadmill is going to go, and I'm going to put the weight system in this mat. Then right here, I have this rainbow thing going on. If you ask me why, I'll tell you what's going on. This right here, I bought it for my daughter, these mats, for her to play about, I think, a year ago. She never, ever used them. So I was going to go and buy an extra mat to put my punch my boxing bag, you know, on top. I said, you know what, I have these things here, might as well use them, and you know, look, they work good, they don't come off, you could step in there, you could, you know, come out here and just, you know, punch, punch the bag, and nothing's gonna happen, they're all good. So I'm gonna have the punching bag here, treadmill here, waste system there, and you know, and I'm, I'll probably buy another extra mat to put in this area here, just to have a little extra space. This is the big box where the weeder comes at. The Weeder, um, what's it called? Weeder Pro 6900 weight system. It's in this box right here and the two little boxes. And yes, I am gonna build this bad boy myself. Not even I believe that. I'm gonna try. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna do an open box. I'm gonna open the box up with the camera on and um, I'll try to you know, show you guys how I built it. Hopefully you guys like it, and I'll show you the final results when, you know, everything is done. I, I also bought this little radio right here, as you can see, and this I'm going to put right here in the wall. Put in the wall there, we'll connect our iPod, you know, our music, just put it on when we work out, and we have our half gym. I'll pull back for you to see a little bit. How's it going to look? Be right there. And tomorrow, hopefully, you guys will see the... Well, maybe tomorrow, the final result. All right? All right, guys, thanks a lot, and check you out. Well, 
Good morning, everybody. Today's the day that I start building. I have my coffee in hand. <sighs> really good. And it's about 8 in the morning. Uh, today's Monday. Martin, uh, Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. And uh, the day off. So, what better thing to do than build your home gym? So, we're going to do the open the box of the weeder. I'm hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Weeder weight system, the Pro uh, 6900. At 10 in the morning, I have to go back to Sears to pick up the treadmill. Um, I've been reading a couple of things online, people's reviews on the Weeder weight system. It has very good reviews. Um, the one thing people are complaining about is the instructions. Instructions for building. Huh, here we go. I'm by myself, I'm gonna build it by myself. Some people are saying it took them 10 hours. Another one said it took them four days. I'm gonna see how long it's gonna take me. Usually I'm good with building stuff. You know, anytime, everything we buy, you know, I have to build the majority of times. And uh, I'm usually good with it. Sears does not, did not have anything that you could like pay for that could build it. When I was leaving, the guy said, you know what, we do have something for your treadmill. It cost a hundred dollars for us to build it. I'm like, wait, hold on, hundred dollars for you to build it? Nah, I'll do it myself. Then he told me, for your weight system, I just found the computer. We could build it also. It will cost about a hundred and ninety dollars. I'm like, buddy, I'm not gonna pay you a hundred ninety for my weight system and a hundred for my, you know, treadmill. Two hundred ninety bucks for three hundred dollars? No, 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 no. I build it myself. I try how it is. If it's buildable, I could do it. So. Let's see how everything comes out, and uh, we'll do the open the box in a little while. Let me just finish my coffee, please, and I'll be right back with you guys. All right. All right, guys, we're gonna come now and open this weeder weight system. I just finished putting my radio up in the wall. That's what's gonna put you. There it goes. See, I gotta fix the cables a little bit. It's a little auxiliary cable. You can, you know, I have my iPad and some music. Kind of cool, huh? Gotta finish it though. Um, all right, so let's start opening this bad boy here. Now I only have, you know, I'm going myself holding the camera. So I'm gonna try to hold the camera plus, you know, cut this open. Why don't you razor blade? This thing's way too hard. All right, we're gonna open this bad boy. See how it looks in here. See how scary it's gonna look in here. Because you know it's gonna be scary in here. With all the things that this thing's gonna come with. Man, you could work on your legs, you could work on your arms. Oh, hold on. I'm getting old already. Can't bend down. Oh, it's gonna be a mess of boxes. I mean, a mess of, uh, mess of stuff here. A lot of garbage gonna be around. Oh. It's funny that I'm by myself building it, but I bet you when it's all built and ready, you're gonna have everybody here trying to lift weights and working out. Nobody helping me now. But later on, they're gonna be like, oh, Omar, can we go wake around your house? Oh. All right, let's see this bad boy. Here we go. You ready? Drum bro. That is a lot of shit. Ooh, I love that song. Cheap plastic music. All right, now, the complaints that people are giving is that the instructions don't tell you like the parts. But in other words, the instructions make you guess stuff. Like the parts are not numbered, they're not labeled. So they tell you put part, put this part with this part, but they don't, the parts are not labeled or numbered. And you can see there's a lot of parts, all right? It's a lot of parts and uh, hopefully there's a picture here somewhere of it. If I won't have to, you know. Ooh, look at this. Look at this bad boy. That's a lot of freaking nuts and bolts and look at this holy crap i'm already intimidated cables everywhere Woo, this is gonna be fun oh man can you see through there let's see here we go here we go where's it there we go hey look little peephole who's there <laughs> sorry all right this is gonna be fun. So I'm gonna see how long it's gonna take me. Let's check the time. I don't have a watch with me. Let's look at my microwave. Sorry for the mess. 
I was taking the radio apart in the kitchen here. The time right now is 9 in the morning. All right, 9 a.m. <laughs> Let's see how much. Well, you know what? We got to pause for a little bit because not fair. At 10 a.m., I'm going to leave to go pick up the other machine. There's going to be a gap in time, all right? So I'm going to deduct probably like an hour when I finish the video, let you guys know how long it's going to take me to do this. All right? I don't even know what to start, honestly. But, well, I guess the first thing is to find the instructions. So you guys saw this. I'll come back, you know, like halfway I'm building it, then I'll come back when it's finishedly, you know, final. All right? All right, so far, this is everything I've taken out. Looking for the instructions. That's all I'm doing, looking for the instructions. And so far, I've taken out all these parts. Not everything yet. And guess who I found? The instructions in the middle of this pile right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I've been looking for. The little magic book that's going to help me build this monster. Oh, you can see a picture of it right here. Let me, let me open this bag. See how it's going to look. Hold on. Sorry, it's hard to try to open a book with one hand. Here we go. Here we go. What is this? What is this? Here we go. Let's see what's in here, shall we? We have a stop if you have any questions or part damage, whatever. We have a fast friendly person. Uh, assembly. Oh, really? I could call somebody to come do this, huh? I just wonder how much would it be. Let's leave that aside, just in case pile. Hopefully, I don't use it. Master protection. What's this? Activate your warranty today. Yes, I will be doing that. This is from Sears. In order track, whatever. Clothes, I don't need clothes. The good thing about having the gym in your own house, that if you feel like it, you can run naked which I won't do it, <laughs> but you could if you wanted to. Let's see, what's this, a little poster? So, would this be my first poster going in the wall? Let's see, and yeah, why not? Yeah, this is going right in the wall. It shows you all the exercises you could do with this. Look at this, military press, oh. Hopefully pretty soon you know I'll look like that guy right there. You know, that'll be my body. You know, yeah, I'll give it, what, three days? Yeah. All right. Huh. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of things. There we go. All right, that's going in the wall. And here's the magic. Ooh, the book is heavy. Magic book. Here we go. The Weeder Pro. I hope I'm saying that right. Weeder Pro 6900. This is the bad boy here. That's how it's supposed to look towards the end. All right, let's see how long that will take me. So there you have it. The book is out, half the box is out, and I'm still intimidated. Here we go. I don't even know where the heck to start. Well, I guess the first place to start will be the book. Or maybe I'll just post that on the wall. Right there. I feel like painting my wall too. I think I should paint the wall. What do you guys think, should I paint it? And if I do, like what color? Should I make like, like should I paint each block like a different color or just do one color for the whole wall I don't know yeah we'll see anyway so I'll come back when I have like you know when I started building a little bit just to show you guys all right please wish me luck man I hope you guys are praying for me out there all right because I do not I repeat I do not want to call these people no 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 they'll probably hit my wallet really hard but let's see what happens all right man thanks Hey guys, I'm back again. So far, I'll tell you where I'm at right now. I took a little of the stuff out. I'm kind of building it a little bit. Um, I picked up the treadmill, so hopefully that should be done tonight or maybe tomorrow. I'll show you guys where I'm at right now. So, so far, I've taken out most of the stuff out the box. All right, as you can see, all laying here. All right. I took off the colorful mats that were, you know, under the boxing bag, and I, I bought extra. I bought extra mat and put it here also, my water cooler, my radio. That's my son right there. He's leaving to the Navy in about two weeks. Um, so, so far, we got this much built, which is really nothing. But I'll come back to you guys when, uh, when I'm a little further up, all right? All right, bye. All right, so far, this is where I'm at right now. 
It's about to be 10 o'clock at night. And so far I got this much done. You know, it does take a couple of hours to do, especially you by yourself like me right now. You know, um, I am in page, uh, page 15 I am right now. That's where I'm at, page 15. You can see it right there. And right now, the, you know, I'm doing, it's a little harder. That it, you slow down when you start putting the cables, okay? Um, start putting the cables and you got to, you know, put them together and stuff. That's a little bit harder, but that's where I'm at right now. It hasn't been that bad, really. I mean, I won't rate this to be, like, awful or hard to build. Um, parts I have left, we did the chairs. I think these are the side panels. You know, little things. Not really that much big I have left. Then tomorrow I got the big board over there to the treadmill. Oh, Jesus, I'm really tired. <laughs> but anyway, so just an update. <sighs> well, guys, guess what? I'm done building my Weeder Pro 6900. Basically took me all day. Now, you could probably do it in a shorter time. I'll tell you why it took me longer, okay? Number one, I had to run to get the treadmill back in Sears, the other treadmill I bought. That's number one. Number two, I have what's called lumbar fusion in my back. Back, I got spine surgery. I had screws on my back, so I can't go as fast. You know, I can't bend down that much. I'll show you guys if you can see. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there. I have two incisions, a big one and a small one. From the small one, it took a piece of bone from my hip to fuse it in my spine, you know, and I got screws back there, so I can't be bending that much. I bend, I, you know, I've been in a lot of pain. Right now, I'm in pain. Um, I'm usually always in pain, but when I do stuff like I did right now, I'm in extreme pain. Now, I'll show you the machine, you guys see how it came out. Remember, I started at 9 in the morning. I'll show you guys what time is it. Look what time is it right now. Can you see in this clock? Uh, it's not zooming. Now let's go to the microwave. I'll show you from here. Watch this. It is 1.48 in the morning, and I started at 9 in the morning. But, look how far I am. It's finished. Complete, done, finito. There is the Weeder. I think it's the name. Weeder Pro 6900. All right. You can see you could do stuff with your foot. You could do... Uh, this one here, the arm press, whatever it's called. Um, this is it right here. This is a little baby that took me a day. Another thing that took me a day reason, the reason is because it was just by myself. You understand? The, the hard part, okay, when it comes to assembly, it's not really hard or difficult. The difficult part is when it comes to the cables, you know, putting them, finding out which one goes where and, you know, doing that. Um, as you can see, this is the paper it comes with like I showed you guys earlier, with all the different um, exercises you could do. I think this company messed up and they put some exercise, some machines that this machine doesn't have. I guess they were lazy. This is the part that goes um, right up here. On the top, you want to do curls with your arm, you know. But as you guys can see, it's 1.40 in the morning. I want to just take a shower and go to bed. Um, but I did a lot. If you guys remember this morning, I had this stuff full of this right here, which is my wife's shit. She loves to store some of my shit. And I moved all of that to over there. I bought extra mats. I put it on. You can see tomorrow where the ball is right now in this mat right here, we're going to put this beauty right here, the treadmill. That's tomorrow's mission for me to build. Let's see how long that one takes. Tomorrow I'll do the open box in this one and I'll show you guys the treadmill, what comes in it. All right, and I also bought this mat for the boxing bag there. So hopefully um, we'll be done. This right here is to do some push-ups. I have one weight, some little straps, you know, to do the abs and stuff. This is my wife's ball that we bought, so. Tomorrow we'll come back and I'll show you guys a treadmill and hopefully I'll make the video and put it up for you guys and you guys check it out, all right? Well, have a good night. I am freaking tired. I'm going to go take a shower and go to bed. See you guys tomorrow, man. And thank you again for watching. Don't forget, man, subscribe on top. Subscribe, please. Subscribe, please. And check out my other videos. I think it's that way. If it's not that way, it is this way. One of these ways is my other videos.
please check them out. And if you like this video, vote. Excuse me, not vote. Like, 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 and comment. Thank you, guys. I'll answer all the comments always, all right? Have a good one, man. Thanks. Good night. The Proform Treadmill. All right. Let's open this bad boy up to see what we have in here. Oh. Like I said yesterday, I need a, a damn new razor blade in this thing. I mean, it's still work, but it's not as sharp as it should be. Now. Let's see how easy this is to open, shall we? Oh, it's coming real easy. There we go. Ta-da! And here you have it. Holy crap. All the parts of the treadmill. This should be fun. I have a feeling, though, it's going to take me a lot, excuse me, shorter time than Mr. Bad Boy here himself. He was a pain in my rear behind. Wow. It took me all day by myself doing that. This, I have a feeling, is going to be probably a little easier, hopefully. Well, let's see. Today, we're starting at, let's go look at the time. I think it was 9.30, I said. Man, I was wrong. 9.16 in the morning. So, we're going to start now. 9.16 in the morning. Let's see how we do. All right. Be back when I have some of the stuff in the floor. All right. It'll be right over there. All right, here we go. Just making an updated video. This one I'm at so far. All right, took a couple of pieces off. I had to take off parts, I mean. I put the two um, bars here. I had to take this wire through the inside down there and bring it up this pole. I guess that's where the panel goes. All right, and that's how far I am. You can see the power cord is right down, if you can see. All right, and um, it doesn't look like I have that many parts left, I mean, so. Let's see what happens. I got these and these right here. I guess we're almost finished. I hope so. I'm tired. Ooh, that's a nice song. Here we go. All right. So, be back in a bit. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Well, guess what? We are finished. The time right now is about 2 o'clock. I started this morning around 9.14 in the morning. And the treadmill is done. My son playing the camera right now. He's helping me out. So if he could turn this way, please. Thank you. As you can see, the first machine I built right here, the Weeder Pro 6900. It is done. And here we go with the treadmill. Now the treadmill is done. Now I'm gonna try to turn it on. Christian, do you come over here and focus on the button to see what happens? This is the first time I'm turning it on, so I have no idea how it's gonna work. Let's hit this power button. Let's see. Ready? Here we go. And it's on! Alright! Why don't we give this baby a little try here to see what's going on. Yes, I know I'm big and you know, hold on. Here we go, how we start this? And... So do we start? And... Oh! It's moving! It's moving! It's moving! It is moving, ladies and gentlemen. We have a treadmill. It has some little handrails here if you want to do, you know, these type of exercises. Well, you get the point how it works. I'm gonna stop it now. Now, what it has, let me the camera, Christian. I can show him something. I'm sorry, you guys had to see my fat ass in the last shit. My bad. Anyway, what we have right here is it comes with the cable already for you to connect your music device. You know, your auxiliary cable. It has, you know, your iPod or your your phone, your Android phone, whatever you want to connect to hear music. Um, the display is right there. The buttons are right there. Supposedly it has a whole bunch of exercises. I'm just gonna walk, I don't know. The little stop thing is a, it's really a magnet and it just snaps on there. Okay, there we go. And like I said, it has these little sticks here for when you're walking, you could move it around. I'm gonna give you guys a little thing of how much I spent in total here. I'm not sure how much was it completely in total, but I start breaking it down. This bad boy here cost me about $99 in sports authority. Sports Authority, Sports Authority, you know, punching bag. These cost me like 20 bucks in Walmart, the gloves. This uh, treadmill cost me 300, 370, I think it was, or $360. All right, there you go. It's the Proform uh, 
Profound Crosswalk 395, all right? These mats right here, the mats for six mats was $24, and I have more than six. So I, I, you know, I spent a pretty penny on just mats. I guess, I'm guessing about like 100 bucks just in mats I spent for this space. Um, this, is a, this is another mat, this is just a rug that fits exactly, you know, a treadmill. This one alone cost me 24 bucks, just a rug. Then we have this bad boy here. This one cost me, I would say, $2.99. $2.99 was it? Yeah, I think it was $2.99. Damn, I paid $300. Yeah, $2.99 I think it was for this guy right here, the Weeder. Um, Pro 6900. Again, if I'm pronouncing Weeder wrong, I'm sorry. I'm saying Weeder, I don't know. And this is all the exercises you could do with this one. Um, we got the ball there that my wife bought for her, um, that she uses for exercise. This is to do abs. That ball cost me, I think it was like, what, 14 bucks in Marshalls. This cost me about 14 bucks. These two Nike handles is to do push-ups. I found them in uh, TJ Maxx for $12. Both of them not bad. That weight is kind of old. You could buy them at Walmart cheap. I think in total, I probably spent a nice $1,000. I did not add it up, so I'm not sure, but I'll show you the space. I'll show you the space from outside for you can see how it looks. Oh, I'll just move back, freaking. Well, from outside, I'll show you, from the garage. The radio cost me 20 bucks, and I put it there in Walmart. And there goes my dog, trying to run away. Where are you going? All right, let me show you guys. I'm gonna go outside for you can see the space. And there you go, that's my garage. And it's taking, you know, kind of, almost half the garage and I have my machines there so in a two car garage it fit perfectly and you still have enough space to park a car another good thing you have Pookie come here boy come in I'm gonna close the door another good thing I'm gonna show you real quick that it has hold on sorry for the turning the camera come in come in come in over here over here. Oh, I'm such a... come here all right let me show you guys another thing the treadmill does which is good which helps out with space. You could um, just lift it up. You could lift it up and put it away. It has a little latch right there. You unlock that latch, put this up, and it stays up, you know, for storage. All right, well, there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for accompanying me while I build my machines on my own. It was a nice, you know, it was a nice project for myself. Uh, I have fun doing it. I have fun showing you guys. Um, let's see if I use it and lose some damn weight, which I have to. So hopefully next video, I'll be looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger. All right, thanks guys, man. Have a good one. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, guess what? We are finished. The time right now is about two o'clock. I started this morning around 9.14 in the morning and the treadmill is done. My son's holding the camera right now, he's helping me out. So if he could turn this way, please, thank you. As you can see, this is the first machine I built right here. The Weeder Pro 6900, it is done. And here we go with the treadmill. Now the treadmill is done. Now, I'm gonna try to turn it on. Christian, you come over here and focus on the button to see what happens. This is the first time I'm turning it on, so I have no idea how it's gonna work. Let's hit this power button, let's see, ready? Here we go. And it's on, all right. Why don't we give this baby a little try here to see what's going on. Yes, I know I'm big and you know, hold on. Here we go, how we start this? And, so do we start? And, oh, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. It is moving, ladies and gentlemen. We have a treadmill. It has some little handrails here if you wanna do, you know, these type of exercise. Well, you get the point how it works. I'm gonna stop it now. Now, what it has, let me the camera, Christian, so I can show them something. I'm sorry, you guys had to see my fat ass in the last shit, my bad. Anyway, what we have right here is, it comes with the cable already, so you can connect your music device, you know, your auxiliary cable. It has, you know, your iPod or your, your phone, your Android phone, whatever you wanna to connect to hear music. Um, the display is right there. The buttons are right there. Supposedly it has a whole bunch of exercises. I'm just gonna walk, I don't know. The little stop thing is a, it's really a magnet and it just snaps on there. Okay, there we go. 
And like I said, it has these little sticks here for when you're walking, you could move it around. I'm gonna give you guys a little thing of how much I spent in total here. I'm not sure how much was it completely in total, but I start breaking it down. This bad boy here cost me about $99 in sports authority. Sports authority, sports authority. You know, punching bag. These cost me like 20 bucks in Walmart, the gloves. This uh, treadmill cost me 300, 370, I think it was, or $360, all right? There you go, it's the Proform, uh, Proform Crosswalk 395. All right, these mats right here, the mats for six mats was $24, and I have more than six. So I, I you know, I spent a pretty penny on just mats. I guess, I'm guessing about like a hundred bucks just in mats I spent for this space. Um, this, is a, this is another mat, this is just a rug that fits exactly, you know, a treadmill. This one alone cost me 24 bucks, just the rug. Then we have this bad boy here. This one cost me, I would say, $2.99, $2.99 was it? Yeah, I think it was $2.99. Damn, I paid $300. Yeah, $2.99 I think it was for this guy right here, the Weeder um, Pro 6900. Again, if I'm pronouncing Weeder wrong, I'm sorry. I'm saying Weeder, I don't know. And this is all the exercises you could do with this one. Um, we got the ball there that my wife bought for her um, that she uses for exercise. This is to do abs. That ball cost me, I think it was like, what, 14 bucks in Marshalls. This cost me about 14 bucks. These two Nike handles is to do push-ups. I found them in um, TJ Maxx for $12. Both of them not bad. That weight is kind of old. You can buy them at Walmart cheap. I think in total, I probably spent a nice $1,000. I did not add it up, so I'm not sure, but I'll show you the space. I'll show you the space from outside for you can see how it looks. Oh, I'll just move back, freaking. Well, from outside, I'll show you. I'm from the garage. The radio cost me 20 bucks, and I put it there in Walmart. And there goes my dog, trying to run away. Where are you going? All right, let me show you guys. I'm gonna go outside so you can see the space. And there you go. That's my garage. And it's taking, you know, kind of almost half the garage. And I have my machines there. So in a two-car garage, it fit perfectly. And you still have enough space to park a car. Another good thing you have. Buki, come here, boy. Come in. I'm going to close the door. Another good thing I'm going to show you real quick that it has. Hold on. Sorry for the turning the camera. Come in. Come in. Come in. Over here. Over here. Oh, I'm such a... Come here. All right. Let me show you guys. Another thing the treadmill does, which is good, which helps out with space, you could um, just lift it up. You can lift it up and put it away. It has a little latch right there. You unlock that latch, put this up, and it stays up, you know, for storage. All right, well, there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for accompanying me while I build my machines on my own. It was a nice, you know, it was a nice project for myself. Uh, I have fun doing it. I have fun showing you guys. Um, let's see if I use it and lose some damn weight, which I have to. So hopefully next video, I'll be looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger. All right, thanks guys, man. Have a good one.